Welcome to part two of this video. Um, as you can see, um, this video is about this famous statue here. And uh, if you have watched my first video, um, you should know that there are some carvings on this statue, on the crown part of the statue, and symbols that can be seen here and uh, that there is a second statue as I pointed out in this first video in the first video that I made um, and now I will show you that this statue and the second thing were photographed from many different angles and elevations over a span from of uh, 10 days or 12 days or so okay this is uh, another one another image from Sol 528 here is the crown part again and this image just shows the upper part of the same hillside okay now this is an image uh, taken by the mast cam on Sol 527 and as you can see the um, statue head like thing is lying there it is there here is the second one and here is something like a sand dune which could be blurred out by NASA uh, but it could be real sand we don't know and as you can see uh, although taken from a different angle it looks like a face now here this was taken from another angle and as you can see from this angle there still is facial structure it's um, the helmet or crown part is still there the second statue also is there <clears throat> it is still a face now this one um, this was taken by mast cam on Sol 530 and um, as you can see here there is something wrong with the uh, left side of the head with the left side of the face of the uh, statue and I downloaded this picture and made some enhancements and I'm going to show you this is the enhanced picture and you can see that there is no left eye and the left facial structures are missing there is nothing there I think it's broke apart it's uh, it's broken apart um, this is just a fragment of, of, of something and uh, now let's go on to the next image this was taken by the nav cam on Sol 533 the navigation cam so this was taken a few days later and as you can see the face is lying there this image was taken from another angle and elevation and the second statue or what what this could be is still there and now let's take a look at another one this is also from Sol 533 navigation cam everything there this one also uh, Sol 533 and the face is there now this one is an image uh, taken by the front hazard cam the front hazard avoidance cam on Sol 535 and if you look closely you can see that there is something in the sand and I'm pretty sure that this is the thing that we call the statue the statue head and this is the second statue like thing in the sand everything is there and now this is another one and as you can see this is from the same angle and it is still there although we cannot see any facial structures anymore it's just too blurred now guys don't be shocked um, this is the statue photographed full frontally and as you can see it now doesn't look like a face anymore uh, it's very unlikely that this is a face this is a uh, in my opinion a natural rock and I downloaded this image and I made a doubling and it looks like this if you double it here here is another uh, 
that I made and as you can see it really doesn't look like a face anymore with with much fantasy you could imagine that is could be a face but um, honestly I think that these lines and carvings on on this are those that we see very often here on Mars uh, like here for example or here you can see it everywhere these carvings here here is another one here is another one so I don't think that these carvings are the eye and the nose and the mouth um, it is just not a face in my opinion and as you can see here the left side of this rock must have broken apart it's not there uh, so this is just a rock fragment and if you don't believe me I have more evidence for you on Sol 538 there is a color photograph here it is and as you can see there is the crown part or something which looks like the crown part that we know from this image but if you look closely you can see that this doesn't look like a face anymore and this guy here the second statue, the so-called second statue, or first statue as I called it in my first video, is just a natural rock. There is nothing that resembles uh, uh, anything that could, uh, could be made intelligently. In my opinion, this is just another rock like, like this one or, or this. So, guys, don't be shocked. Um, this can happen, but there are many more... Uh, real anomalies on the Mars surface and I'll show you this one again um, okay as you can see here is it is still a face there it is here it still looks like a face from this angle but when you go to the front and this is an image that was taken by the rover when it drove by uh, when it drove through the valley, through the Dingo Gap Valley, and then it took this image right in front of this object here. Um, there may be some perspective problems because the rover was a little bit da um, down, four or five meters maybe. I don't know, but this doesn't look like a face anymore. And here you can see the distance, maybe four or five meters uh, and if this was a, a statue, we would see much more detail here and much more realistic detail of a hum humanoid face. But I don't see it. This is not a nose. And this is not a mouth anymore. It's not what we saw here. So we must be very careful when we analyze those objects. Uh, there is some uh, there are problems like um, trick of lights and shadow and a perspective and stuff like that I don't know but for me this is not a statue anymore this is just a natural rock okay thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed and I'm going to uh, make another video on the dingo gap area especially on the building that can be seen on this panorama image on GigaPan. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.